Afternoon baseball now from the home of the Reds since 2003, Great American Ballpark. Today, a matchup of a pair of first place teams between the Atlanta Braves and the Cincinnati Reds. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Justice Sheffield is on the mound for the Reds in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So now into the box is Ozzy Albies. He will lead this Leading one off, off today. For Atlanta, the second baseman, Ozzy Albies. First pitch on the way. And afternoon oh, baseball on MLB Network is underway. And guys these Reds as they enter play here this afternoon they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah Matty this should be an interesting watch today because this team's playing well all facets of the game but they're facing an ace on the other side today and they're going to have to jump on him early if they're going to have any chance. One one right side but it's going to be a foul ball here comes the one two is laid off for ball two full count three and two that's where he wants that sinker to end up but that was a nice job of laying off. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. He'll try it again, three and two. Lined hard toward right center. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. The throw into second. And he's out he's trying out. to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. The Next to bat Orlando Arcia as the first pitch sinker misses to him it's ball one. He'll come into play here at 319 10 home runs and 34 driven in. Now a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back but he does so too late it's strike one. Just underway here in Cincinnati. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the two one pitch. To the left side but it's well foul. Into the windup here comes the two two pitch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Again, another foul ball. The next 3 2. And he looks at one that misses and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. And here's Ronald Acuna Junior now coming into this one his season home run total tops in the National League. 
Yeah, and here we are several weeks into the season, and this guy has been absolutely killing the ball. I think he's got a chance to be near the top in home runs when it all shakes out. A 100% agree, Dero. When you get this late into the season, he's not doing it with smoke and mirrors. This guy's off to a great start, and I expect to continue all season long. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Arcia leads off first with one away. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. Still one and two as he fouls it away. From the belt, the pitch. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. He spoils another one and will do it again. Now a swing as he stays alive as this is fouled back right off the catcher's arm. Mm. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Runner at first here, one man out. High in the air down the right field line. Renfro is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. That is cool. Next the up left. is Dominic Smith, and Dominic. he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly, he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. He's set, and the pitch. Lined, but speared on a hop. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Brave strand one. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. No score. Max Freed is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Eric Mejia is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Guys, one of Dero's former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Maddie, this is why we do what we do. Two first place teams gonna go at it today. Don't know how this is gonna shake out. Is this playoff baseball? Come early a little bit. Interested to see how the managers go about it. We got some stars out on the field today. Now the one and one pitch. Runs up and gets this one down. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Batting second. The seventh fielder. 
Harrison. Finger. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. Ball one to start the at bat. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a throw over. Runner back safely. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Now the one and one pitch it is a breaking ball in off the plate. Hit on the ground to third. Over to Albies. Now over to Freddie, and it's a double play. Batting third. Not shortstop. Corey. Next at the Seager. plate will be Corey Seager. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. And inning in the books, scoreless on MLB Network. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. These two have not faced each other at the major league level. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding his own. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. He walked the guy back in the first and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. The three and one pitch he is swung on and missed and that's strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruise shin or a ground out to the left side. So we got him looking there. Yohan Moncada becomes the first out of the, the inning. Baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. So next up will be Freddie Freeman as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Scooped up, and there are two away now. Now to the plate here is Justin Dean. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Pitch on the way. Nope. Ball one. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater middle cut right there in a fastball count. He's going to have to turn it up a notch. Here comes the one two. Wow that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep.
And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And now Eugenio Suarez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Eugenio Suarez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Ball two now. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up Acuna. Gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 11 for him on the season. As the Reds strike first, it's one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Batting fifth. Stepping in now, right Hunter field. Renfro. Hunter Renfro. Fouled off. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. And he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. Hit sharply on the ground. And that finds its way through for a base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment and able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Into the box now, Patrick Dwyer. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Whoa, he looks a little frustrated out there, and I don't blame him. He gives up a couple of hits early inning, and then he plunks this guy. He's fighting himself a little bit, so they might want to head out to the mound and try to calm him down. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 14 homers and 51 runs batted in. The 0 1 on its way. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Oh, a two pitch is a curveball that misses one and two. Renfro at second. Dwyer at first with no outs. Struck him out. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. At the plate now, Davey Grion. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He comes into this one at 248. Nine homers and 25 driven in. Here comes the 1-0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 now. 
has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two and one after the foul ball there. From the belt, kicks and deals. Ball three. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And he misses with that one. Ball four, and that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. That's a big no no. He obviously no had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Next to stand in is Justice Sheffield. He could really open this lead up early if he can deliver here with the bases loaded. Now the first pitch, as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four seamer right there, but get back to that two seam. It's what his MO is. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Now batting, second baseman. Now it'll be Eric, Eric Mejia. Given the situation, Mejia. he's got an opportunity to break this game wide open. First pitch on its way. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. One run scores. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 3 0 game. You know, D-Row, hitting in the leadoff spot, you're not going to get very many opportunities to drive in some runs, but that's a big two RBI base hit. Yeah, when you see ducks on the pond, Dan, your eyes light up. I don't care if you're hitting first in the lineup or eighth in the lineup. You grind out in that bat and try and get the runs on the board for your team. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And this is high, a ball and a strike. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch and he misses with it for ball four so the bases will be loaded now with two away. Well it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him three and two but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit so we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. 
Here's Corey Seager struck out in his first at bat. Yeah and he didn't put up much of a fight either Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Even though we're still in the early going I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach. But if they can't score any more here the other guys feel like the door's still open. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One and two here it is and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So all in all they're fortunate to give up just three in the inning as they wind up escaping the bases loaded jam. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Reds three and the Braves nothing. Welcome back to Cincinnati where the hometown Reds have given these fans a lot to cheer about from the mound this season. And looking at the stats it becomes pretty apparent they possess a lot of swing and miss stuff. Currently they rank first in the league in strikeouts and interestingly they've also allowed the fewest home runs of any team in the league. As some of the pitchers told me that combination is a reflection of the deception and movement they work so hard to achieve. They said that talent only gets you so far and a key to their success is the time and effort they put into studying film and perfecting their mechanics and pitch releases to get the most out of what they're offering up. Matt back to you. Thank you Heidi. The pitch. Alex Jackson is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he lays oh. off there ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline the pitcher, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So now to the plate, Max Freed. Here comes the 0-1. One one Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. The 1 1. And now a two strike bunt attempt here as this one's down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. So up steps Ozzy Albies. He was cut down at second attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Yeah Matty his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage. Thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Line drive to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. The batter, number four, shortstop. Digging in next, Orlando Garcia, runner in scoring position with two gone. And now the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Hey. 
Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Here comes the one two is a swing and a miss That's strike three one left for Atlanta still down three nothing Stepping in, Eugenio Suarez. Off to a fine start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood in it. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. The 1-0. Outside, that's the ball. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Now the 2-1. This is chopped down the third baseline. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now at the plate, here is Hunter Renfro. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. And this is popped up near second base. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Oh, yeah. Stepping up is Patrick Dwyer. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's ball one. Mm, tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. To two balls and two strikes now. And he fouls this one off. Now here's one high and deep to left. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands, and he just hooked it foul. Full count, three and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Well, he's really laboring in the early going here. That's his third walk of the game already. We'll see if he can get it together or if this is just one of those days where he's going to have to grind his way through this start. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Has a look, now the pitch. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Ball 
That's inside. 2 and 0. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. The 2 1 home. A runner on first with two away. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Three two two out runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Takes a good swing but this will be a foul ball. And he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Yeah the pitching coach would hate now to go to the bullpen catcher. this early in the game but sometimes you have no choice on the flip side he might just get in his face a little bit out there try to challenge him wake him up from his funk either way we'll see how it works. Next it'll be Davey Grillon two on two out for him here in the third. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Nope, the ball. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. We're only in the third inning and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. The 1 0 home. A ball and two strikes now. Dwyer over at second Olsen at first two out in the inning had to wait back on the changeup and he did a good job just to make contact he's got a good feel for his off speed pitches second time through the order and we just saw three in a row in the dirt but swung on and missed and the throw to first ends the inning a couple of walks in the inning but nothing on the scoreboard. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Acuna digs in now as we begin the top of the fourth. The center field, number 13. Ronald Acuna. Now the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Now here's the pitch. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. In now, Dominic Smith. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh. 
sent in the air out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Two gone now in the Braves half of the fourth and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer Yohan Moncada. First pitch of the A.B. now. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. No runs just one hit and no errors so far for Atlanta. Two balls and no strikes the count to Yohan Moncada. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone but be careful work the quadrants. Now the 2 0 home he is looked at for the first strike. Lifted in the air to center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. And back in Cincinnati as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He cited the four walks they've earned already as evidence that his guys are waiting for the right pitch and that they're willing to let the opposition work themselves into trouble. So far, that's paying off. All right, Heidi, thank you. Now to the plate, Justice Sheffield struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And now the first pitch. Owen won the count. The pitch. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield and he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. So the next to bat will be Eric Mejia. Two RBIs already. Looking for more here. Now here's the first offering. Inside, ball one. One out, nobody on. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. And it's fouled away. Now the 2 1. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. The 2 2. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Now with the plate is Harrison Bader, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here. Middle of the order guy is coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Red center fielder in front with a 2 and 0 count. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3 and 0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Left fielder really the never man. had a chance at that That's one at shot. all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing Deeper. off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about.
Here's Corey Seeger as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. A ball and two strikes. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. Bader at second with two down. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. Two out double left stranded. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Braves to discuss his thoughts on Atlanta's lineup so far. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said it's been pretty apparent that they're just not finding a lot of hard contact today. There have been a lot of outs on softly hit balls and while most of the credit for that goes to the opposing pitching he said it's important for them to continue to make adjustments at the plate. It's games like these where they have to get back to the basics and find a way to generate some offense. The first base OK thank you Heidi. Ready. First pitch on its way. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate, ball one. One and two. Base hit into right center. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. To the plate now, Justin Dean, as he'll take a change up here for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now a fastball, and he knocks this one into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Yeah, they've been stymied so far on this one, but they've strung together a couple hits and are poised to finally break through. A base hit to the outfield, and we've got the makings of something special working here. At the plate, Alex Jackson has the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He'll start play with that average down in the low 230s. Nine homers and 34 driven in. Right on the inside, Black with the slider. Laid off but called the strike. Hey, that was a big pitch right there. You fall behind 2 0, 
you give this hitter count leverage he probably tries to ambush a fastball one one count he's got to really think through this and have a great game plan. Hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now that well, that's a quality at bat right nice. there. Brings home the run with a ground ball, but also moves the other guy over to third base. Good job of keeping it simple there. So here now is the pitcher, Max Freed. The potential second run of the inning stands at third. Here's the first pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. He's one for two in this one. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play and that retires the side. They make it look easy, don't they? Around the horn for the double play to end the inning. More from MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through for a hit. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. The right fielder, number 12. He obviously didn't let last Hunter. night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Into the box, Hunter Renfro drilled down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. The tag, but it's not in time at the plate as he scores to make it 4-2. to two. Dan, back-to-back -back pitches, double, then single. Ambush tactics. So I tell you what, they're swinging the bats early. You have a double, then an RBI single to drive them in. Potential for a real big inning here. Stepping in now, Patrick Dwyer. Over to Albies. On to Freeman, a double play. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Pitch on the way. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Four runs, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations, and good hitters aren't going to miss. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2-1. and one. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. It's a run on two hits here for Cincinnati.
Jose De Leon takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Leading off the inning, it'll be Orlando Arcia as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right handed up and throwing. The 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bader has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Stepping in for the Braves, Ronald Acuna. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch on the way. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed in that strike one. To first. Oh, what a stop! The throw to first. Got him! A really nice play by the first baseman right there. Two parts of this play does a great job of knocking it down with a dive and then a good feed and a flip to the pitcher just like you work on it in spring training PFP pitchers fielding practice. Standing in now Dominic Smith. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh one here's the pitch a swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Hey if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently he's going to get a lot of swing and misses he's going to get a lot of weak contact he might even get a few knots oh, on some people's shins one and two to Dominic Smith. Here comes the one two hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Count even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's another two two. Fastball well outside. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Braves. Still down by a count of four to two. Chris Sale enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Davy Grion. The catcher, Davy. Here's the first pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the upper deck and gone. A solo shot here to left. Number 10 for him on the year. And just like that, it's now a 5 2 ball game. Wow that's a tough one certainly not the way you want to start your day as a relief pitcher giving up a home run. Yeah. 
Lazaro Armenteros will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First pitch on its way. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one froze him. The 1 1. Oh. Bases are empty here, nobody out. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Hit hard to short. And that's through for a hit. Can't fault the pitcher for going back to back changeups right there. First pitch, he swung through. Timing looked a little off, but he went back. The batter made the adjustment and was able to drive it for a base hit. So now to the plate, Eric Mejia. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. One and no pitch on the way. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. The one one misses ball two. two. The 2 1 is laid off of for ball number three. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The 3 1. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Ready now for Cincinnati, Harrison Bader. First pitch on its way. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Nope. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. From the belt, the pitch. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. That strikeout was all no about setting the six. hitter up with hard stuff. stuff. You can see the first Holy. three pitches are coming in fast. And Seeker. then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. To the plate now, Corey Seeger. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point.
Jones set and the 0 1. Nope. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Ground ball right side. Freeman's got it to second for one. The relay on to first. The double play and the side is retired. Boy, oh boy. One score is in the inning coming on this solo home run. The five, six, and seven hitters to start the seventh. It's now a 5 2 lead for Cincinnati. Garrett Clevenger is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Yohan Moncada. And now the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run for Yohan Moncada. Number 11 for him on the season, and it's a 5 3 game now. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 1 0 home is taken for ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two and balls and a strike to Freeman. The count is two and one. Swing and a miss there and it's two, two and two. two no outs nobody on. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Bader is right there, one down. So here is Justin Dean. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. A three-one count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. The batter, the catcher, Alex Jackson. Up next, Alex Jackson. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. And he misses with it, 1 and 1. As a look, now the pitch. Hey. 
A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. And then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Austin Slater will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The batting average down in the low two tens. Five homers and 23 driven in. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Dean is off of first with two away. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in there. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Rwanda Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. Get up and stretch. It's the Reds five and the Braves three. Joey Lucchese will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and next the dangerous power threat, Eugenio Suarez. First pitch coming, here it is. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1 0. Lifted down the line in left and foul. The one two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2 2 one more time. Line toward the alley in left center. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Dan, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to Don't hitting like for the Double cycle. Play. Toughest one still on the I'm shelf, sure. though. He's got to get it triple. Yeah, that's your set at zero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. Now a drive by Renfro. This is hit well out to left, and it's gone. Hunter Renfro with a two-run shot. Seven home runs for him on the year now, as it is now seven to three. That wasn't the plan. You just have a meeting with your pitching coach to go over some strategy, and all of a sudden, you throw one, and it leaves the ballpark. And 
at the plate now, Patrick Dwyer. Patrick. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Base is empty here with nobody out. Lays off two and two now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times so he might be looking for it. And he holds off on the breaking ball so the count runs full. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Now the payoff pitch home. This is on the ground over to first. Freeman is up with it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Matt Olson. Here's the first pitch. The 1 0. Sliced hard on the ground. Throw on to first will get him score at 5 3 on the put out though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball nevertheless there are two away now. Davy Grion will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. First delivery to him. Curveball looked at here for strike one. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door, or that could get some serious damage done to it. The 1 1 home. That's ball. I got two on the count. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Two out, nobody on. Thought it was ball four, but it's in there. Three and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. But the Reds do push across a couple on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Reds seven and the Braves three. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Riley O'Brien will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Brian O'Keefe is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzy Albies. First pitch on the way. Slider finds the zone for a strike. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 2. 
your idea of work and account goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0-2, gotta find a way to grind. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Some action out in the bullpen, couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The one-two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate, Orlando Garcia. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And that's too high, ball two. Swings right over the top of that one, two and one. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around at strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now here is Ronald Acuna, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. And now the first pitch. As the fastball is swung on and missed, good location down at the knees for strike one. After that slider away, he must have set his sights out there because he yep, took that fastball out. in like he had no chance. Two and one. Ball two. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Bader finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're down four. It's seven to three. Into the box, Brian O'Keefe. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the, the eighth catcher. after entering off the bench right just a little bit ago. Now the pitch. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. So he froze him for the strikeout. Brian O'Keefe is retired, leading off the bottom of the eighth. Into the box now, Eric Mejia. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. So far, two for three in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. 
Nope. That's ball over, one. but low. It's a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two and one. Two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Smith is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. So next to hit is Harrison Bader. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The 1-0 home. Bases are empty here with two men out. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Two strikes. Hard sinker misses two and two. Not shocked by that pitch sequence right there. Sometimes guys out on the mound when they feel they deserve a strike, they're going to go right back to it. But this umpire staying staunch, and he might not give it to him at all this game. Sinker, three and two now. Corey Seeger would be next. Two out, nobody on. This is line to left. Smith gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We've played eight full. The Reds lead it seven to three. Now it'll be the four hole hitter Dominic Smith. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the first pitch. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Nearly got the inside but ruled the ball. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 2 1 home. Hey. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Smith is retired, and there's one away. So here's Yuan Moncada. He's working on a one for three thus far. In the last at bat, that breaking ball he hit for the home run, that was one of those meatball ones. A cement mixer just kind of floated up there. I'm not so sure that they're going to go back to the breaking ball here. And if they do, better location is definitely needed. A ball and a strike now. Now here it comes. One out, nobody on. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Freddie Freeman there, he'll hit next. And the count will be full. And here's the 3 2 from him. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. 
next here is Freddie Freeman and he needs to make something happen they're down to their final out here in the ninth infield shifted well to the right here's the first pitch now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Make the catch there to end it, and the Reds have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. And this afternoon's game ends seven to three. The Cincinnati Reds took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Justice Sheffield earns win number seven on the season. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds seven runs 11 hits no errors they left eight men on base for Atlanta three runs five hits no errors they left four men on base time of the ball game three hours and 21 minutes